You, the internet, have spoken and we have listened. So on this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we're gonna add all the modifications you've requested onto our awesome Garage Creeper Mark II. Last episode, Moog constructed a DIY garage creeper. He made it out of wood, he added some cool mods, and we got it into a price that was reasonably cheap. Now, we can't get away from the fact that you can buy them for almost nothing in the United States of America, and they're on special here every now and then, but what they all lack is features. You guys requested a whole bunch of features, some cool, some very random. We're gonna try and pack as many of them as we possibly can into an all new garage creeper that we're gonna make today out of tough, durable materials. Moog is on his way, he'll be here soon. Let's do it. I'm gonna construct my creeper frame out of thin wall steel tube and a length of L-shaped angle that we've had lying around the shed. As with all good projects, it's important to map out exactly what you want your finished product to look like. A drawing will keep you on track in case you get stuck or encounter any problems along the way. One of the first issues identified by the internet was that the Creeper Mark I was made out of wood. We're gonna make it tougher by making it out of metal. According to the internet, in this case Wikipedia, over-engineering is the designing of a product to be more robust or complicated than is necessary for its application, either to ensure sufficient safety factor, sufficient functionality, or because of design errors. So the way we're going to construct this is we're going to have it one metre long because the bit of metal I had was two metres and that's the only bit I got so it has to be a metre long. Uh, and then width wise, we're looking at about probably five to six hundred. The plastic one is five hundred, Moog's one is six hundred, maybe we should do five fifty. So I have my top and bottom cross pieces. They're gonna sit in there and sort of create the frame, if you will. We're not gonna put one in the middle. Oh, we might put one in the middle. We'll see, see how strong it is. Next up, we're gonna weld this together. It's hard to get a good weld through paint, powder coating, and just about every other substance that ends up on metal. So the best way to ensure a good weld is to grind it all off until it's shiny and clean. If you've spent any significant amount of time online looking at stuff to do with cars, you've no doubt come across welding and more importantly, pictures of other people's welds. Uh, you might be wondering how we're gonna weld this together. Well, we could use a stick welder, but that's better off left at a farm or for really big stuff, doesn't require gas. It's the most simple and cheap way to do it. Uh, the next most obvious one is MIG welding, which is a gun with a spool of wire and gas and it welds together. It's really easy to use, like kind of using a hot glue gun with metal. Or you could TIG weld. TIG weld's what you see us do when we're doing stuff like intercooler pipes, stainless steel, fine stuff. Um, the internet loves TIG welding and loves pictures of very pretty TIG welds. I can't do them. And this is probably not the right material to be TIG welding together with the kind of gas that's currently in there. It's better left for aluminium, stainless, stuff like that. So a MIG welder is what we're gonna use. So if you're a really good welder, like most of the people on the internet, you won't need to grind those. There we have a nice strong welded frame. Our Garage Creeper Mark II is ready for some mods. Yo! Hey mate. Hey mate, how you doing? What are you listening to? Fear of the Dark, dude. Fear, fear of the Dark. Okay, cool. Yes. Hey, um, Get on it. Creeper... Did I, you I bought this cassette? Cassette? It's like 20 bucks back in the day. I thought you meant you bought a cassette no. now. No, I wish. Um, dude, Creeper Mark II. Yes. I need you to get me stuff on your way back. Yes. Um, Some wheels. No, got wheels. Um, I need stuff like hose, fans, lights, LEDs, pitom controllers, some sound deadening, some 3D printing filament. Um, and I've I reckon. I've all of that already. Can you just message it to me? I can. I can't remember the hundred things that you just told me. That you will. Ridiculous. You'll need to go to a hardware shop, probably a computer shop, electronics, 3D printing joint, and an aquarium. Because I have what? 
Why do I have to go to an aquarium? Uh, that they just got the best the best stuff, and we need it for a specific mod that the the world has requested. So okay. you need to do it. Um, it but yeah, man. Like a royal waste of time, man. I'm That's gonna awesome. send you a picture of my mad handwritten list. If you can grab all that stuff, man, we'll we'll do it. We mad. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All cool. Right, thanks, dude. Do you want a kebab or something? Love a kebab. Cool. See you, mate. Bye. Next, it's time to paint the creeper frame. I'm sanding off any schmutz, cleaning it with acetone, and then giving it a few coats of awesome blue paint. Frame is done, painted, touch dry, and we can continue on with it. The next thing we're gonna need is some kind of floor to lie on. Now, I've used this sort of L-shaped channel for a reason, it's so I can put slats in there. Why are we using slats? Because they look cool. This is hardwood known as Merbau screening. It's tough, easy to get at hardware shops, and cheap. I'm gonna lay it out along the frame with gaps in between for ventilation and style. The next step is to install these mad caster wheels that I got from the hardware shop. Uh, one of the biggest problems with creepers is that when you've got a big breaker bar or spanner under a car and you go to crack something, you go flying out the other side of the car because you're not planted on the ground. No longer a problem, these ones have brakes. They are optional, you can turn them on and the whole creeper will not move. So the next step is to attach these to our mad frame. Done. And we put the brakes on. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Look, not going anywhere. Oh, well, not very far anyway. So my slats are all in place. The next step is I need to drill holes so I can screw them from underneath. So I'm gonna take the slats away. I've worked out that each screw needs to go in about 60 mil. So I've measured that out. The slats are gonna go. I'm gonna use a center punch to put a mark, drill them from the top, and then screw it from underneath. The creeper is really starting to come together, and with all the slats in place along the frame, it's time to take it for its first test run. Works good. Oh, whoa. Yes, yes, it's working. The creeper is working perfectly. It creeps like a boss on the floor. It rolls around. It does everything that it's supposed to do. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. This is a serious assortment of absolute crap. This is perfect. It's not absolute crap, but it's I don't quite understand what we do with all of this yet. Features. Look not, at this, Martin. Not crap. Features, Look at this my friend. Stuff. Yep. Yep. What's this for? I think we might. It's to turn stuff on and off. Why does your the creeper features. look like a fence, bro? We're going <laughs> to... It looks like... <laughs> is that meant to be classy? It's screening. That's a fence, isn't it? That's just you putting you put up when you don't know, want your neighbours to no, see but you why naked is the, in the pool. Why is this made out of that? This? Yeah. Because it was... Oh, is it because that's classy? It's classy. You're trying it's to a... outclass mine. Dude, it's a Mark II. Oh, it's right. the evolution. Anyway, you love evolution. all your stuff. This is good. This is features. So you got like oh, lights and... Where'd you get that idea, Mark? I watched a YouTube video oh, and I ripped it off. Because that's what on do. YouTube is full of crap. <laughs> Us included. Um, so good. Why? Anyway. The, the best stuff, the best of this is always at the aquarium. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, guess what? I didn't go to the aquarium. What? Is that hardware shop? Was yep. not going work? You watch. Um, anyway, that, anyway, that's all the crap you need. Mad. iPhone mount. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you, yeah. you have your phone. Okay. But we've got to work out where it's all going to go. Okay. All right, lie down. Hang Get on. comfy. That's, this is the... The top because I messed up the measurement at the bottom and see how it's not even, but we're yeah. not going to tell anyone about that. Well, that's a feature, right? That's a feature. Dude, there's not much room. Dude, there's there's like no room for features. It'll be all right, man, because I'm the creeper. You, you got to. Can you go back a little bit more? I'm as far back as possible. Okay. So all the features are going to have to. Okay. Like, we can extend the creeper, man. We can add room for it. Okay. 
It's fine. All right, just stay still. You ever do this when you're a kid? You like draw around someone? You know those artworks you kind of did at school? You lay out butcher's paper and draw around someone? Oh, vaguely. All right, hop up. Oh, there's room between the... Oh, we'll be right with that. Don't worry about that. All right, that... That's our... That's our... Safe zone. So a headrest has to go here and then it's all features. Oh, you got a headrest? Yeah, man. It's more features. than I did on mine. Have an amateur hour. Turn, put, lay your head down on it. There you go. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Keep going. No, real estate's wrong. Go down. Go down. Yep, lie down there. Look at that. Perfection. Perfect, I'll just mate. stick it. Oh, that's actually really good, man. You should put a headrest on the Mark I. Nah. You may remember a couple of videos ago, um, this little thing happened. Martin, we've used these tools a lot over the years. Yeah. Oh. And someone said, oh, are they a sponsor? No. Nope. Dear Ryobi, please send us 15 batteries. <laughs> and we will, in exchange, give the exact amount of money that the retail value of those batteries would have cost to reach out. And they did it. So, um, this is um, just arrived. There's a few of these boxes. Unless they were joking and there's nothing in there. Look at that. Batteries, one, two, three, four, five. That would make sense. And there's three of those boxes. Um, so, thanks for sending them. A few people had actually said after they saw my Creeper video, they're like, oh, this is video sponsored by Ryobi. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, they've never given us anything. Uh, and um, they're not a sponsor, we just have all their stuff. I'm pointing over here just because there's a Ryobi vacuum there. But um, like I've said, it's like a gateway drug because you buy one battery yep. and then it just like fits into everything. So no, and they're not a sponsor. Our, it's um, at our local hardware shop, that's just what you get. But, um, yeah. but maybe we should have a chat with them. Yeah, anyway, so, um, so anyway, thanks for doing that. Uh, we paid the full retail uh, price for all of these batteries um, and that money was given to Reach Out, which is a charity that we are an ambassador for. I need one of these, man. For. I need one of these um, for my features. We'll, we'll take that for your features then. I'm going to dump them out there. Um, so um, thanks for Obi for playing along because we called you out. We didn't know what you are going to say or do, so good on you for being good sports. Uh, and, um, and reach out. Uh, check that out. We'll put the link down in the thing. Anyway, Martin, you got what you, got what you need? Features, come with me. What we're going to do is whack one of these new ones on the charger because it's going to power all the features of our Creeper. And the cool thing about that is your Creeper becomes a tool just like your tools. So when you need to power all your features up, click, smash it in. So what I've done is I've got a charger and I've gutted it and then I've put a power wire coming off the charger that comes into some wires here. And what that means is you can fire it up, slap a battery in, fire up your trusty multimeter, put a battery in it like so, and then you have 18 volts of, or 17.3, that's kind of normal for a lithium thing, of power to use for your creeper. Now, some of the issues we're gonna have is a lot of the features that we've gone and organized run on 12 volts, but we can solve that with a little DC to DC converter. So that'll take up to 28 volts in and spit out anywhere from three to 15. There's a couple of other little electronic -y things we need to do to control motors and do some other stuff, but that is gonna make it possible to run things like LEDs, lights, other cool stuff. So what we're gonna do is find a spot for our power supply and then start adding features. That's actually really good, Martin. I know some of the stuff is like a bit silly, but that's actually really good. It's so, it's so handy because you've always got these charged. The other, th you know, you run out of batteries on something like I'll go stick it in the charger for three hours. You just grab one of the other ones. If you've got two batteries, you can just rotate them. You could use your creeper so all day. That's the bit that gets attached to the creeper. That's right. And so that normally, powers everything. So normally you'd have a power wire that goes into this thing, 240 volts to charge this at 18. Yep. I've gutted it. There's nothing in there except the little contacts. Yeah, yeah. And all I've done is attached one wire to positive and one wire to negative and it spits out 18 oh, volts. Oh, so it's just going backwards. It's going in reverse. It's, it's hacked. Like, it's not really a great idea, um, but it works. Man, I think I'm going to have to change that for a square thing. That just looks weird. Does it? Yeah. Much better. Too high. I always struggle with these things, eh, on power boards and stuff. There we go, that's on. So I'm adding on uh, the best feature uh, so far onto this creeper, which is the magnet. See, here I have an old vacuum cleaner. I don't use it because it, it sucks. Um, so I'm going to pull it apart and scavenge the motor out of this thing for an awesome modification for our creeper. 
Electric motors do eventually wear out, and this one wasn't helped by the amount of dust it ate because I didn't empty it often enough so it's going to donate its guts to our project. The vacuum has a simple on and off switch but we won't need any of those parts because I'm going to control its speed with a pulse width modulated speed controller. This is our little switching system um, that will turn our various features on and off. So we're going to run our power into these and then we can go, yes, I want this feature. Yes, I want that feature. Yes, I want that feature. But you would actually push it the other way because up is on. With the switchboard firmly welded in place, we can start to attach all of our features to the creeper. The idea of this is yep. that when your phone's in there, like this, right? See that? It's like right near your head. Ah, you can so you're like on the forums getting all your accurate information or watching Mighty Car Mods getting all your legitimate information <laughs> from experienced falls. Yep. Yeah, man, Look that's at that, perfect. Man. I've just got to do one on this side. Awesome. And we're good to go. I've got and a great idea, man. What's that? We get this. This is the prototype. Yep. We take it to Super Cheap Auto. Yes. And we just go, here it is. It's Mighty Car Mods Edition Creeper. It's like powered. Well, this is the creeper that the world wants. The creeper the that creeper. the internet asks it's for. It's the creeper that the world wants. The world wants, they want features. Speaking of features, my next feature, does that work? Yes. Yeah. That's unreal. Even better. Um, the next feature, so earlier I pulled apart an old vacuum that wasn't working very well and I put some weights in it to turn it into a vibratey thing. That's how they make vibrating things. Is it really? I don't know. I think so. Did you pull one apart? <laughs> Did I what? Did you pull one apart? Can you hold this thing up so I can screw Is it? Is that how way? they make vibrators? Let's just be straight. I guess so. I think there's a weight okay. on them. Um, can you pull this up so I can <laughs> screw it? It's about to be it from around. Um, anyway. <laughs> just needs to go straight up. Just watch the switches. Hold on, let me turn up. <laughs> Poor Cheryl. Be nice, man. So this is going to go underneath. I don't get it. You will, shortly. All will be revealed. Is that clearing the wheels? Uh, nope. Let's put it back one. Double bung it. That looks dope as fridge, look at that. Uh, we couldn't find a cup holder that would be appropriate. Um, and I was going to tell you something about this. Um, but Marty made it, he drew it in, put a cylinder in there, add some little things on it, um, and now that's the cup holder. But Martin, it is going to be modified slightly in that a straw will come out into the mouth. Uh, so you can be getting your mad, smashing your mad lolly water, whatever you're drinking, while you are working on your Daihatsu, which is pretty amazing. Yes, Look that's at that. awesome. So good, Martin. I'm gonna get a can. I'm gonna get us a can so we can try it out. Passito. Yeah, it's passion fruit flavor. Is it? So that goes in there, and then that one will just go up to the mouth. Look at that. Is it possible, Martin? Is this the law of um something? Yeah. Yep, it will. Is it working? It's working. And that, for my science friends out there, is called osmosis. The What's piss, that one for, man? It's the piss resistance. Peace. Peace de resistance, not the piss de resistance. That's an egg corn, dude. Look at what? this. Yeah, take this. I'm going to show you something. Mm. So this, come with me. This is going to change your life. <laughs> so this is actually, this is actually the reason for the Mark II, the ultimate mod for your Creeper. Yes. And it involves a fan. Excuse me, Which sorry. is a computer fan, which you can buy really cheap um, from electronic shops and places like that. And what we've done... That drink is delicious, but it's very sweet, Martin. I don't really drink soft drink. My good friend Miles sorry, designed, designed this up for me, which is kind of exciting, and we 3D printed it. So this is a fan adapter that's gonna go on the fan. What does like it do, Martin? That. Just tell us what it does, man. And then this 
goes on like, looks good. like that and it threads on, which is pretty oh, threads cool. Threads on. It Look printed that. threads or you've got to cut print, threads? You can design and print threads. It's crazy. That's amazing. And then we have these little doodles, which we also printed, that go on here. Like that. Now it looks like a screaming robot. Yeah, man. Wait for it. And then they will perfectly fit the hose that you got from the hardware shop, even though I told you to get it from the aquarium. Like so. And you have... Martin, don't tell us. I'm going to guess. I don't know. Can we install it and then you show us? Sure. Do you know how hot it gets underneath cars? Like, you know, working <laughs> under a car on a creeper and you're sweating and it's hot. Now there's a way to cool your body, but through science, you can cool it through key heat areas. So the places that you put deodorant and the places that you put talcum powder, that's what we're going to air condition. We're going to blow fresh, cool air from low because cold air falls to the ground. It's going to suck the cold air through these three tubes. It's going to deliver it into your heat zone. It's sucking them through these tubes or it's blowing them no, through the tubes? No, it's blowing. We can do either. You can choose. All you've got to do is flip the fan. You can do either. Or run the fan. No, you've probably got to flip it, actually. But Wait yeah, on. and then you can... You what? can you're blowing air on your balls. Is that what you're doing? Fresh, cool air. Think about how good that would be. Where does that go? That's, we attach, well, that comes, chop a bit off and I'll show you. Have we got enough? Yeah, yeah, we got heaps. So this, that's the reason for the slats, man. You don't stick a do No, you? that's the reason for the slats because, look, it comes up through here. Okay. And up through the leg of your shorts, like that. And it, Are you alright, man? You haven't eaten, have you, today? <laughs> I'm have, so you, have you eaten anything today, man? Get us kebabs. You can get us kebabs. I'm going to get you some food, man. I, let's just let's leave this for a minute. I'm going to wire it just... while you get kebabs. Okay. Because I'm too excited. I'm going to finish okay. this. I'm going to wire it. And when you get back, I'm going to. Okay. Get I'm going to get man. some. You're you're all, you're all right, man. Can you get me a kebab? Everything's all right, man. Thanks. Oh, it's more than all right. Yeah. I'm okay. going to have creeper conditioning. It's going to okay. be so good, man. I'm going to call Marty's mum. What kind of kebab are uh, you going to get? He's lost the plot. Uh, whatever you want, man. You deserve something special. Thanks. While I wait for my Mooga Eats, I'm going to attach the manifold to the fan, attach the hoses to the outlets, cut them to length, and run the tubing around my mad creeper. The hoses can then be adjusted to fit all shapes and sizes. Next, I've got my speakers, which cost 12 bucks, run off USB power that we installed earlier, and can be plugged directly into a phone or music player. With that all done, it's time to get wiring. Some 25 amp cable run from the battery to the switches takes care of controlling all of the features. Most of them run off 12 volts, so I can use a multimeter to dial that in on the converter. And with that, it's ready for a test drive. All right, so my creeper is all wired up and it still creeps. It's a little bit heavier than your average creeper, but it works pretty mad. And there's a few extra little features that I've also put on while I got busy wiring it. Put a little GoPro camera here so it can see what you see. Um, which is handy for when you're making your mad, mad videos. Hey, dude. Hello, mate. You actually got oh, it's looking good, man. Yeah, man, it's done. There you go. Are you ready? For, are you ready for the demo? Oh, yeah, it's really good. Demo, demo me crazy, Martin. Yeah. Oh, it's got oh. a camera now. Oh, it's got a GoPro camera. That's incredible. Is that for? Is that for POV? Uh, POV. Filmmaking. POV it's filmmaking. It's now like a bona fide YouTube production rig. Yeah, pretty much actually. With cooling. So. The way I've done it, obviously you've got your battery to power the whole thing, so now it's just a creeper. It's totally analog. The second you plug that in, all your switches become active and they're all in sort of a range. So we've got lights, air and tunes. That's pretty good, man. And up the top we have massage. Okay. So maybe we'll start at the top and work our way down. Okay. Do you, should, like, should you lie on it or should I lie on it and you... Like, do you That's a really to... good idea. Yeah, you can be the you can be the test test subject. Can I eat my kebab while I do it? Mm. Uh huh. I'm gonna eat my kebab while you do it. So I'm gonna have to put it here for a second. So do I just lie head first, man? Just move the chiller out of the way. Not yet. That's later. No, it's fine, man. Don't no worry. I move my little mic pack, man. Okay. Place your head down on the headrest. That's where you're aiming for. It's actually well constructed in terms of like nothing's in my way. Yeah. I can reach the buttons. Well, firstly, we should, we should do hydration and we were doing lolly water earlier, but I think mm. it's important for this one that we go a bit healthier. So okay. I'll crack this open ready for you. Mm -hmm. This goes in here. <laughs> Good to go. Stick that in there. Oh yeah, man. And that's right next to your mouth. See, you can just... It works good, right? And it's got no mm. osmosis. 
That's got no osmosis. Yeah. Fantastic, man. So the first feature, you might have shuffled down a little bit because okay. we're a bit short on space. But so the first feature, yep. if you flick on the switch at the top. Where's my kebab holder? Oh, yeah. oh man. You could, dude, will it fit? Stop it. Do it, will it fit? Oh, dude, stop it. <laughs> oh, that's the. <laughs> yes! <laughs> We know, I'm gonna print another one. That's so good. What if I print another one and we put yeah, it next print to Yeah, print another one right. and we put the kebab holder next to that. Done. Oh, that's so good. Oh, there's a bit of meat on the end of my osmosis pipe. That's kind of gross. Okay, sorry. Oh, wow. Let me get rid um, of that. So, if you do your first switch here on yep. the top, you can reach that up one and there. Look, flick it towards you. Lighting, dude. It does that? I can't see that, but what is that doing? You've got safety lighting for people who are around you. Okay. You've oh, look a, at the light from here, man. You've got an LED bar behind your head, so it's lighting up behind oh, you. Oh, dude, that's awesome. And most importantly, you've got ground effects. Okay. And <laughs> ground effects. Um, the need for speed underglow. Um, and so this camera is seeing what I'm seeing. Point of view camera, Which yeah. is great. Yep. But were you saying as well, there's some like wireless thing, so you can stick a camera on top of the car and then have a screen so that while you're under the car, you can see what's happening above the car? Yeah, so you That's could a eat, genius If you were one. being super crazy, put an inspection camera here. Well done. Um, probably the more interesting one now that you're set up. So this pipe, just, yep. just is that food? creep him under there. Under there. Yep, just in the top of your shirt. Same with that one. Yep, that one there, yep. up the shirt. Yep, up the shirt. And then we get this one. Oh, maybe I'll do that one, man. No, it's okay, done. no, it's you, done. you can do it. Okay. Wait. Just yep. wind him around. There you go. Oh, okay. And dude, hit that second Wait switch. Wait, is it in there? It's in there enough. Hit that second switch. Ah! Oh! It actually works, man. Look at that. That's a. Ooh. Yeah. I know. Everything's cooled down, right? From your heat zones. Can you can you insert that? Again for me? Your various heat zones. Wow, that's really good. Oh, there it is. Stick it right that's in. Good, eh? Can you stick it in a bit further? Because yeah. I can't quite feel it yet. There you go. Ah, oh, yes. Well that's done, good, man. Eh? That's awesome, man. Um, and so and does that? It pretty much stays in as I move around as well, which is awesome. Yeah, and if we lock the wheels. So this was the other feature. If we lock the wheels, now yep. try and move. Yeah. Ooh, look wheels. at this. So um, for the next one. So a lot of the time. You're people... checking your list. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Seeing what else is on there. No, I'm going to just lend you my phone for a second. Oh, your phone. Yep. I'm, I'm going to say that the decking is actually very comfortable. It's like reminiscent of an island holiday. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. It, like, it feels like you've got wood on your back, um, which is not as wrong as it sounds. No. It's like it's comfortable. It's got a tropical feeling. You've got your kebab here. And you've you can got... see your phone screen for four I can see my phone. So all that's, that's left awesome, to man. do, man. So all that's left to do, yeah. you, you plug your thing in, and then you hit that third switch. What does the third switch do? You got music. Incredible. What, what do you need? There's only one more thing that you need. If you very slowly twist the knob right above your head. Can you just take that out for me, this one? Yep, we'll put that somewhere else. Am I, am I near it? Yep, twist it, twist it gently. We killed it. Did we kill it? We killed it. For no, using too just, much stuff? No, no, the battery. Oh, dude, the battery wore out. Oh, the battery, the okay. Battery. Oh, I thought we killed it. Fixed it. What'd you do, mate? Hit it with a hammer. Ready? Okay. Watch so, this. Wait, and what's it meant to do just before you it's start? It just vibrates, man. That's a motor that's got like an unbalanced weight thing on it that we spoke about earlier, and it transmits the vibrations through the whole creeper. So you meant it relaxes you while you're working on your it's car? It's not very relaxing to look at, but it's relaxing to be so, on. Okay, show, Ready? show it to me. Yep. Here we go. That's it's smoking. There's a lot of smoke coming out of that. I think it's on fire. So look, I think last time, of course, we, we called out Ryobi uh, for some charitable goodness. Um, thank you very much. This time, Martin, we're calling out Super Cheap Auto. Let's yes. get there. Dear Super Cheap Auto, we are on your Facebook page because we're wondering if you will stock this item and we will donate the proceeds. You've got kebab on your shirt. Uh, we probably can't donate the proceeds of anything in this. How about this? Super Cheap Auto, if you just write back, even just respond to us about our creation here, we'll a review. donate. I'll be happy with the a review. A review. How much? 500 bucks. We'll give yep. 500 bucks to reach out, yep. uh, which is the charity that we're ambassadors for. That is a um, uh, mental health for young people. Uh, we'll put a link for that below. Uh, if you somehow acknowledge uh, this, <laughs> this existence, uh, we'll donate 500 bucks. Um, there it is, everyone. Thank you for watching, Martin. It's been incredible. It's I think at this silly. point we get back to our regular programming. In fact, our finale. Yeah. Which is in like a day or two's time. 
which is incredible. Uh, that is the 9th of January. 10 it's years. It's our 10 year one anniversary. Decade of Mighty Car Mods videos of various amounts of silliness. Someone said that a creeper thing would be kind of silly. And then I remember when the Space Wizard visited us, when I like sniffed too much bog. Dude, this is- this Then the is Space Wizard came. This like, is this completely is... functional. Um, so there it is, thank you for watching. On the 9th of January, it is our 10 year birthday. We got something big coming up for you guys, something very cool. Uh, I'm not gonna give any spoilers this time. Sometimes we give away spoilers, but mm. we're not. No. Um, but I would make sure you are on the intervals. In fact, if you uh, watch Mighty Car Mods with like special friends of yours, uh, it's worth a big screen. Yep. yep. It's worth waiting till after work, uh, checking it out properly. It's getting uploaded in like 2K or Schedule something. Schedule in some you and your mates' time. That's right. And oh, thanks for watching, get everyone. Get some kebabs. Cheers, Cheers, man. man. And well done fun. on this. That was really fun. And I, I might actually use it. I know earlier on we were saying maybe it's going to be a bit silly, but I, that, that's, that's great. That's a thing. Mm.